All right, good evening, everybody. My name is Jeff Kiemke, and I am an advanced holistic healthcare practitioner. It's been a little while since I've been on my channel here, but I'm hoping to uh, get back onto regular broadcasts here. So I uh, don't see anybody on at the moment, but if you do hop on, and if anybody does hop on here, I'd like to share where you're at, I'd like to know where you're coming from. And uh, I'll just tell, tell you a little bit about myself real quick. Um, I've been doing holistic health since uh, 2011, and a big passion of mine is just helping people and helping people overcome their obstacles. And as I've learned a great deal over the past four years specifically, being a practitioner, holistic health because I had health challenges myself and I overcame them through holistic means and I've done periscopes on this before so I won't go into it now um, but what I want to talk about tonight is holistic health what is holistic health you hear these words a lot now uh, the alternative world of healthcare is is booming because a lot of people are turning to that for solutions and what they receive from the conventional world sometimes isn't enough for some people and they don't want their symptoms masked. They want to actually get to the root of it and actually be, be over it. And as I've been working with clients for the last four years, I've, I've seen a lot of interesting things that I want to share with you here. The first one is, you may think like this. I used to think like this. I think a lot of people think like this, that if we have money problems, that's in a box over here. And if we have health problems, that's in a box over here. And if we have relationship problems, that's in a box back over here. And, you know, within our health, we have maybe different kinds of health that we go to see different experts for. We have our mental health, so we might go see a counselor for that. We might have a dentist that we go see for our teeth. We have uh, an eye doctor that we go to see for our, if we have, you know, either nearsightedness or farsightedness. We go to see a foot, nose, and throat specialist. We go to see an allergy and asthma specialist. We go to see a foot doctor. We go to see an oncologist if we have cancer. See, we have all these different segments of health. And when we think about being healthy, we think about exercises in one box over here. And we think about eating right is, is in this box over here. And, and getting good rest is in a different box. And when we think about relationships, we think about, well, the people that we work with, these are, these are in one box. And our families is another box. And maybe our social or church setting, that's in another box. And we think about all these things differently. We think about our money differently. We think about how we spend our money versus how we make our money. And the real thing that I found with holistic health, being whole, is that all parts of our life affect each other. And... Even little things such as the mind-body connection, I don't really like that phrase because it implies that they're not one. It implies that they're two separate entities and they just happen to be working together some of the time. And it's really not the case. With holistic health, it's all about how everything affects everything else. It's a synergistic effect. So when I work on people and I find that they might have a health problem, they might have a digestive problem, they might have a pain, they might have an immune system problem, they might have hormones that are out of balance. They could have a variety of issues. And what's interesting is there's times where it has nothing to do with their health. We actually have to go and address either the relationships or we have to look at their finances. Maybe it's a financial stress that's hindering the way their body's supposed to function and it's keeping it from working right. So one example with my wife, um, a little over a year ago, um, she had missed her cycle for several months in a row. Hopefully she doesn't mind me sharing this. Um, and we went to see somebody that does what I do. And sometimes when you're working on your own family, it's, it's hard to get, uh, get to the root of it because you, you, you have counter intention. You want to help. And sometimes that is a, a fear that can block helping other people when you're doing different uh, body balancing techniques like I do. So we went to see another practitioner and it came up a financial stress. And the next morning after five months of, of a skipped cycle, boom, she started. So that's an example of how our body is is caught off guard and we had actually went to see somebody different and they said oh yeah you've got you know hormone imbalances blah 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 get on this drug blah 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 and we didn't really want to go with that so 
it was interesting because it had nothing to do with hormones, it had nothing to do at all. And this is a perfect example of how our life is holistic. What we do in our relationships, what we do in our finances can affect our health. Our health can affect our finances. If we have poor health, that can drain resources financially. If we have health problems, that can create stress in relationships. Or if the health problem is draining the finances, that is a byproduct can uh, have negative effects on relationships. Whether that's your love relationships or just family relationships in general, even relationships with church members. Uh, my mother-in-law, for instance, she's had several, even before I knew her, came into the family, she had several health conditions that just didn't get really any better. She kept having a compounding um, need for surgeries and things, and the church started to abandon her because things just, for whatever reason, didn't go very well. So, so see how one area of our life can have this domino effect and this, this synergic, synergistic effect kind of in a negative sense on every other part of our life. So to find true healing, when you go to see somebody that's doing holistic health, you're going to have all areas of your life looked at. So if you show up with a health complaint, don't just assume they're going to focus on the health complaint because it might have absolutely nothing to do with your health. You need to get other areas of your life fixed. And in order to achieve true healing, where whatever the problem is can be healed, because the body has full healing capacity. Chiropractic has this philosophy. Acupuncture has this philosophy. Most alternative healing modalities understand this fundamental philosophy that the body will heal itself. If it's not, there's something interfering with that healing process. Because believe it or not, I've asked this question to groups before, and let me ask you this. I can't see, obviously, if you're raising your hand, but maybe give me a few hearts if you're listening to this. Let me ask you this question. Do you believe if somebody has cancer, the body's doing the wrong thing? Give me some hearts if, if you think that's the case. If you have cancer, the body's doing something incorrect. Any, anybody listening at the moment to give me some hearts if you believe that's true? Okay, so either whoever's on isn't paying attention or they don't believe that's true. And if they don't, that's actually the correct answer. And I've had some really strange looks on people's face when I make that comment because the body is actually always doing the perfect thing. The body's either responding perfectly to the intelligence that made it and continually will allow for healing in the body, or the body's going to be perfectly responding to interference, which interference is what's ever healing with or interfering with the healing process. So this could be stress, emotional stress. This could be an injury. This could be a nutritional deficiency. This could be a toxin in the body. It could be, I don't, I'm obviously using my phone, so I can't show you my phone. It could be electromagnetic chaos, something you may not be familiar with, something that comes from all of our electronic devices today in our modern world can actually interfere with the healing process of the body. And it, any of this interference can come from stressors that are relationship oriented or financial oriented or or even from the health world itself if you're stressed about a health complaint that can be a, a a compounding problem obviously so when you when you look at the holistic nature of life everything affects everything else and to achieve that true healing you have to identify the interference that's causing the body to not heal and when you do that magically what's left behind when you pull out whatever is interfering, there's naturally the healing process already there waiting to work. And what's interesting with the holistic lifestyle and when you, when you understand the holistic aspect of life is when you're looking at everything in your life, whether you have a health symptom, whether it's a pain, a digestive problem, an immune problem, a skin problem, whatever it is, there's that's a symptom and there's something interfering with that healing process well did you know that the also same principle holds true in your relationships if you're having struggles in your relationships whether this is a love relationship with a spouse or significant other a family whether it's with friends you don't maybe don't make friends very well or you don't get along with your extended family these are symptoms of a a relationship illness if you will not a mental illness but just something that's not quite right because just like our body should heal our relationship should be vibrant and there's something there if it's not working quite right if you're not getting along with a spouse or family member 
there's something there that you can learn from, something there that you can identify. And when you can identify whatever is interfering with those relationships, whether it's something within you, maybe you need to have better boundaries, maybe you need to communicate better, maybe you need to handle things differently, maybe you need to forgive them, maybe you need to ask them to forgive you, could be a variety of things. Somebody holding on to a past grudge, that will interfere with a healthy relationship or, or the healing of relationships. Same thing goes with finances. People struggle with finances and they maybe have credit card debt. Maybe they have a low paying job. Maybe they are unemployed. Maybe they just, they make $100,000 a year, but they like to spend $101,000 a year. They're just broke at a higher income level. If that's you or somebody you know, that is another symptom of something interfering with the natural flow of abundance in our lives. It's supposed to naturally be there. And the fascinating thing, whenever you remove the interference, whether it's from your health, your relationships, your finances, what's naturally left behind is positive abundance, happiness, and health. It's just a natural part of this universe. And so if you're struggling right now to maybe figure out what it is, the good news is once you figure it out and you can remove whatever's interfering with either abundance financially, happiness in your relationships, or vibrant health, it can be yours because it's naturally built into our bodies and naturally built into the way the world works. So it's exciting news that you can find out what's going wrong. So some of the things that I share here on my Periscope channel and on my Facebook page, you can look up Life Enhancement Association on Facebook and uh, check me out on Periscope here. I'm at, uh, at Jeffrey Kamke and the K-A-M-K-E is the last name is how you spell that. And so if you're finding this on YouTube or on Facebook and you want to check out my live broadcast on Periscope, go over to Periscope.com, I believe it is. And maybe it's Periscope TV. It might be Periscope TV, but do a Google search for Periscope. It's part of Twitter. And then look for Jeffrey Campy, and you can find my live broadcast. If you're not on right now live and you're getting this in a recording or on YouTube at a later date or um, on Facebook at a later date. So... Um, as I wrap up my thoughts here for tonight, because it's getting getting late where I'm at here in Eastern Time Zone, just understand, though, that everything you do in your day-to-day -day life, every decision you make, every habit you have, affects everything else in your life. So if you are struggling with some area, you might need to look to other areas that don't seem quite so obvious to find a solution, to find the answer, to find out what's interfering with whatever it is you're struggling with. So, you know, I think most people are wanting to be a little healthier. Most people want to have a little bit better relationships. Most people want to make a little more money or get out of a little more debt. That's just common. And in order to identify what it is you need to change, it might not actually be something in that area you want to change. You might need to look to another area. Maybe you even need to look into the spiritual world. If you are a spiritual person, whether you're a Christian or you have other religious beliefs, you, you understand that there's a higher power above what we have, you might need to get right with your higher power. One of my mentors says, you know, if you don't have a higher power, get one. The good news is they're free. That's what uh, my mentor Eric Bailey says. So it's absolutely true. Sometimes you just need to get right with your higher power and not interfere with that process because... There's uh, a great, great rewards when you are tuned into your higher power or higher consciousness or the universe or nature, however you would describe that. So whatever it is you need to get rid of uh, that's interfering with what you're going for in your life, your goals, your desires, your wishes that you want to have happen, this ideal life that you probably have some idea of in your mind, if you're not there, you need to look at maybe some of the areas of your life that seem obvious, but you also might need to look at some of the areas that maybe aren't quite so obvious because life is very holistic and we can't live what I call compartmentalized lives where we have, like I said in the beginning, our finances over in the box over here and in the other box over here is our relationships and in the other box is the other part of our life and it just doesn't work that way. And in order to achieve a real balanced life and have true happiness, true abundance, true health and vibrant health, you need to look at everything in your life. And in, or, in order to do that, you need to just be self-aware of what you're thinking, what your habits are. You can ask a spouse, you can ask a family member, hey, what do you think are some of my hang-ups? Get some advice from them. 
they'll tell you. I'm sure they will. And be willing to have some constructive criticism. It's a good way to figure out maybe if you can't figure it out, what is it? Another good way would be to sit down with a piece of paper and a pen. Write down the question at the top. What is interfering with my goal? And your goal could be a financial goal, could be a relationship goal, could be a health goal. And if you're really struggling to figure out what it is, just sit there and let stream of consciousness, let your subconscious talk. And just write down whatever comes to your mind. And it might shock you what comes to mind because your, your brain will give you the answer. And uh, you know, you might be a little shocked. And if you are, good. That'll give you some steps to take in the right direction and start fixing some of the areas of your life that uh, you know might be a little bit out of balance or need some correcting. And you know, part of living a holistic lifestyle, when you're going for abundance and when you're trying to achieve better health, it takes a lot of guts. It takes a lot of courage to face some of these issues in our life. If we're maybe wanting to have better health and there's a relationship that needs mending, and if we don't mend this, your health is going to continue to deteriorate. You know, it takes guts to go and seek that person out and maybe have a sit down over a cup of coffee and tell them how you feel or ask for their forgiveness or whatever it might be. It takes guts to do that. It takes guts to go for more money. You know, if you're an entrepreneur, you're, you're in a business and you want to go for more money, it takes a lot of guts. It takes a ton of courage to stand up to all the, the negative beliefs and all the, the collective consciousness decisions that are, are made about the economy and how everybody decides that, oh, the economy's bad, it's bad, terrible time to start a business. Well, you can choose to participate that, in that stuff or not. And those are all things that a lot of times, in order to achieve things differently than the rest of the world, you have to do things differently. And in order to do that, you have to go against the grain. You have to swim upstream sometimes. And it can seem like you're on a path all by yourself but, uh, you know, hang in there. Have the courage to do it because it's well worth it. It might not be easy, but, you know, there's probably a part of you that deep down your heart is saying, hey, I need to go this route regardless of what it takes. I need to do it. And I know I've had these things in my life. I'm on that track right now. Some of the goals I'm looking to achieve, it, it takes guts to, to stand firm, hold true to where you're trying to go to, and, uh, you know, not, not doubt yourself, not second-guess yourself. But it can be done, and there are ways ways to do that. And I hope that through this channel I can share a few of the insights that I've learned and I can pass those along to you um, and hopefully help you on your journey to live a holistic lifestyle because when you can have great health, you can have good finances, you can have good relationships, and guess what? It is possible. If you don't think it's possible, then you know I really hope that you can understand at some point that it is possible because there are plenty of people on this planet that do have great health that do have a uh, great financial life that have great relationships they get along great with their mate my wife and I have a great great relationship it's always improving there's always room for improvement it's never perfect but it's it's much more uh, vibrant than most people have I'm, I'm sure of it because I've seen a lot of people deal with different things so um, I love talking about this stuff, so I can keep going on and on, but I think I'll, I'll cut myself off here with, with these thoughts. So if you want to find more, again, go to Life Enhancement Association on Facebook, my website, lifeenhancementassociation.org, and um, Periscope channel at Jeffrey Kamke. So uh, hopefully for those of you that are watching, this was uh, at least a very educational and understanding how some of the things that, you, that might be holding you back, some of the struggles you have in your life, might not be coming from the areas you think, and it might be something you need to look at other areas of your life that are a little bit out of balance to help you find the solutions to the problems that you have, to be able to meet the goals that you have. And, you know, it's really much more than just goals in life because when you have goals, it pulls you along to better yourself, to identify some of those things that aren't quite as good as they could be in your life and to raise the bar and get yourself up to a higher level of, of uh, happiness, of, of thinking, your habits to a higher place and when you do that you really have a spillover effect on everybody else because when you get better at what you do you become more powerful as a person and that wears off on everybody else and it's something that we all need to do because our world right now is in some crazy going on some crazy chaos some of it's I think real some of it's a little perceived maybe through the media but that's another periscope topic um, but we need a lot more people to really plug in become more powerful and live up to their full potential. So hopefully that's uh, something you can do through this channel and many of the other great channels out there. 
Um, so that's all my thoughts for tonight, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.